segment of the beat of uh, Big Bang Theory RL's BTS vlog. And why are we here? Because we're going food shopping. So it's time to get ready. It's just about six o'clock. It's uh, uh, 1759 uh, 17 hours and 59 minutes into the day of Tuesday, March uh, 22nd, uh, 2016. So uh, let's get started. I gotta get my coat and boot coats and boot on. Boots and coat on. <laughs> kind of get that mixed up a little bit here. So here we go. Oh. These boots have seen a lot of traveling. I'm dressing lighter today, actually. It's even though it's just about 40 degrees outside, 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, um, and they are forecasting snow. 40 degrees is warm enough to cause my body to overheat, so um, removing the windbreaker pants and just wearing uh, these extra layers here, that should provide enough ventilation uh, to reduce the overheating that I experienced uh, that I experienced while I'm walking. So uh, now a lighter look, a lighter. Not look, but uh, equipping. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> like equipment, but it's for the cold. So I'm not using as many thermal layers. And that should uh, improve how I function in terms of heating and not overheating. Last few times I came back, even though it was cold outside, I was seeing same uh, temperature just about uh, I came back sweating buckets so this time this hope is a little different and let's we'll uh, move to the freezer and get the freezer pack out today I'm going to be getting milk and of course when you get milk and uh, per perishables as such uh, you need to put a freezer you need to you need to put a freezer bag in your backpack. And this little ice cube thing uh, helps keep the, uh, the container that holds all the cold stuff cold. I'll just sort of fix this up here. When you first go outside, your body is cold and hasn't warmed up enough yet, so you need the hat. And the gloves to keep your body warm. Then once your body starts warming up and you start feeling that you're somewhat overheating, you take the hat off, put the gloves off. And you begin to allow the uh, body heat, if it's producing enough body heat, to keep everything warm. And you, by removing the gloves and hat, 
you remove uh, a large chunk of the body's uh, thermal insulation. The way you the, the, the keep your the, the way to keep your your body warm is feet, hands, and then head. Uh, so first you take off the gloves and see how things are, and if it's alright without, without the gloves, and you still find yourself overheating, you remove the hat, and but the boots are always there, so. Because uh, it's the heads, the hand, the head, the hands, and the feet. This is where you lose the most amount of heat from, so. Uh, it's a necessity to sort of keep things, you know, to, to, in order to regulate your body temperature. It's a necessity for a hat, gloves, and good shoes or boots uh, if your intention is to stay warm. So anyways, uh, that's it for now. Whoops. Uh, I'm on my way out the door, so I will see you when I get back. Alrighty, I'm back. So it's time to unpack and uh, get things going. I got my hat on, so because it was raining outside, just a little, well, drizzling. So, rather than my hair getting wet, the hat got wet. Anyways, it's about, uh, it usually takes about two hours to do the walk. So I'm estimating that it's, uh, I left at six, so it's probably around eight o'clock on, uh, you know, eight o'clock is 20 hours, so 20 hours into the day of uh, Tuesday. Oop, didn't follow, didn't exactly follow. <laughs> Reposition the camera so that it follows. Uh, so, it's 20 hours into the day, approximately, of Tuesday, March 22nd, uh, 2016. The pause there was because what immediately popped in my mind wasn't 2016, but 2013. Let me just go check the time here and see how... Huh. Much earlier than expected, it's only 17 hours and 24 minutes into the day. Uh, of March, uh, Tuesday, March 22nd, 2016. So, um, just about a half hour early, yeah, about 35 minutes early. So, that's a good thing. That's a good. That's a good sign. You know, doing something shorter. Uh, The bag was uh, slightly heavy today, but I managed. I managed with the bag. I dress lighter, but I'm still sweating. And this is the problem we're carrying perishables, right? It can be cold outside, but because your back is towards is where the backpack is, the heat your body generates uh, is actually. Uh, Radiated, radiated into uh, the backpack. So if you have perishables in there, uh, the time factor is a significant thing because you only have a certain amount of time to keep that stuff on your back uh, before it goes bad. And of course, the 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 heat that's radiating into the into the into the bag from your back simply makes things worse so let me unpack the bag so you're getting to see more and more slowly but surely I'm getting things done right Ugh. I like this to this bread called Texas toast so I got that I was out I'm just gonna put everything here for now I have a table here a sort of incoming table that I can unpack and put things on uh, in between. So let's do that. I'm packing bananas. Uh, the brand of bananas in Canada appears to be changing. Before everything was dull. I like this this ice cream. This ice cream is one of the best ice creams around. 
It's uh, Chapman's. It's four liters or one gallon. And it's one of the few uh, ice creams that are still made with real, real cream. Most ice creams, if you look at it carefully, of the ingredients, it's not real ice cream. It's, it's a, um, uh, how should I say, it's a, um, something called a milk product. In other words, it's not, it's, they use skim milk and then they add uh, uh, milk fat to it. They ma and so you have a lot, in order, in order to have a good ice cream that solid, solidifies properly, they, they have put a lot of additives into the ice cream. And that's not necessarily a good thing. <sighs> I am unpacking. But it does take some time to unpack because you got to see where things go in the fridge. I have a system, but. Uh, I bought four bags of milk. Yeah. In Canada, instead of having bags, uh, having jugs, they have bags of milk. Uh, these are called, I guess I call them, their intravenous, their IV bags. Last bag, last thing. And there we go, all packed up. So, <laughs> well, I have to go change and get the rest of the day started. Alrighty, I'll see you later. Well, uh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> no, I say not good morning. Uh, it's kind of somewhat in the middle of the night, I'll have to explain. It is 2 hours and 43, 41 minutes into the day of Wednesday, March 23rd, 2016. And this is kind of a midnight snack, but kind of not. And here's how I'll explain. As I said before, I do a lot of heavy walking with uh, uh, in hiking. Uh, usually the typical result is... Um, an hour back with uh, a heavy load on my back. I was surprised today because today it was it, did, it didn't end up taking two hours, but it ended up, only ended up taking an hour and a half. I think. <sighs> See, I left I left I left at six, got back at seven thirty, so it's an hour and a half. Uh, so your minimum walk is an hour and a half, carrying the backpack, as you've seen. And if you have to do it more than once a week, uh, it starts taxing the body. Even the, even the walk itself, that one time, it do, does tax, but there's, a, there's about a 48-hour period where the body recovers. And uh, it ends up, oh, one, making you sore. Not too badly sore, but sore enough that uh, you have to sort of sleep off the, uh, 
the fatigue from the as the body starts to recover. Uh, but when you do it more than once a week, uh, there's a compound impact that occurs and it, it forces you into a longer recovery period. And that's sort of what's going on now. So, yes, this is a midnight snack, but uh, in terms of uh, it's late at night, but it should be during my day, during the normal day, because I'm getting up around uh, four, between four and five in, in the afternoon. So my work, my day begins at four or five in the afternoon. It should theoretically end, end by four o'clock, uh, five five o'clock in the morning, four or five in the morning. It's about a twelve hour day. But what happens is when the body is fatigued as such, uh, you have to go back to bed. And, and sort of part of the day is the convalescing that 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 is required to to rebuild the body. And that's sort of the situation that I'm in now. Is that uh, there is a uh, uh, due to the heavy loads that I have recently been carrying, uh, there is a lot of uh, muscle fatigue issues that have to be rested off. And but I also have to get up and properly uh, replenish the fuels that uh, uh, the body is taking up as it's sort of uh, reconstructing itself. And so that's sort of the situation here. But so now I'm here. I've I've had something to eat. I'm still going to have a little bit more to eat. Uh, I'm watching Kim Possible. And I'm doing some work at the research test as well. And this is how I got everything. I have everything laid out so that uh, it's it's not too difficult to, to get things done. Let me see if I can get, get you a better view here of the research desk. Uh, let's see if this ends up working out. Do the same pan that we did before. So that's where I usually sit up. Oops. Get this going properly. And this is it. You can see to the left most of the screen there. That's the IPTV. It's paused on Kim Possible. This is the main computer screen. So uh, you can kind of see <clears throat> what I'm doing in terms of work. Uh, I don't have everything up on the screen now with, with uh, Kubuntu, with Linux. I have uh, multiple desktops. Actually, I can show you this. <clears throat> Since we've got the time here. So, what you're seeing here, it looks like an empty desktop, but nothing's going on. But, lo and behold, click. Here we go. One set of new, one set of uh, bits of information here. This is, this is RT here. I use RT as my starting point for, for some of the, for, for the research news. Uh, this is my, my mail program, this email program. This is another another screen is for uh, work on calculus. This is my file manager. I file where I manage everything where I manage uh, to where I, this is where I deal deal with all the storage issues. Uh, my note, one of my notebooks. This is one of the uh, one of the ways I manage my notebooks is uh, with the text editor called Kate, and it allows me to actually set set up these multiple notebooks across the whole system, so I can take these ad hoc notes or, or notes that are individual and bring them together in a, in a sort of a a a uh, indexed or or, or ta uh, tabbed environment, and I can click through things. Uh, as if we were in a, uh, a notebook environment. So that's one of the ways I organize my notes. Uh, when I go through the videos to sort of uh, find different points I want to discuss, I use a media play called VLC. This is to write web pages. And once again, because uh, Linux is very different, this is one project of web, web pages I'm working on. This is for the university, and this is the second topic, a uh, second environment here, uh, used uh, for uh, used for uh, writing. Um, uh, apparently, it came off the screen for some reason. I don't know why it came off the screen. Let's go put it back again. Here we go. This is the one I want, and this here is for. Uh, uh, 
for my web uh, web my web TV, my IP TV. So this is the main um, uh, uh, viewing guide. I am going to work on the next uh, version of it. I've already done up to three. Ver uh, the third version is done. One point three is done, and it's up there. That's what we're seeing now. I'm working. I'm going to be working on one point four next, and uh, I'm going to add some more features into it so uh, that it works. So it will provide a better. Uh, type of uh, viewing environment. So, anyways, uh, that's the desktop. Now you've seen my desktop. I have a new environment here. I just sort of just set this up as well. Uh, normally, I'd be running off a of battery, but I found a way to sort of uh, keep this plugged in. So I do have a longer, uh, a longer time to spend with you without worrying about the battery because. It's actually plugged in, so I've got uh, a good power source as well. So that's so that's that's my research desk. Uh, so right now, what I'm going to do is as soon as this clip, this features, this uh, segment is done, I'm going to take the uh, SD chip out of here, it, uh, put it into the computer next to the uh, the main system. There's two systems here, and this saw, you saw the one on the end there by the, uh, the bookcase. When, it was, when it, that's where I change and everything, when I come back from uh, a walk. And uh, I have to put more uh, video clips into the editor, which is the next the next computer over, because there's nothing to edit now. Right now, there's uh, I've done everything, so uh, it's waiting waiting for the next segment uh, series of clips. And right now, that's still in the camera. So, uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave that here for now. Get back to watching Kim Possible, and then uh, going from there. Alrighty, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next segment. Of Big Bang Theory's BTS vlog. Democratic Earth. Earth.